today we'll be discussing piano scales, how the hand works on the piano. The piano is a machine. The best way is to look at the hand and understanding that these three fingers are longer than those two fingers. If you don't move differently with these two fingers, even if you practice 10 hours, you will not be able to play the scales because you are not considering the hand. The, the middle finger is longer, that's, those are almost the same size, the pinky is shorter, and the first finger is not only shorter, but also it moves in a different way. Let's start with the C major scale. Maybe I play it with one finger, how to play it with the right fingers and how to get the speed. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. What I will work first is on this area of the scale. I have to understand how to move in here. There are two kind of movement in another movement that we have to rotate toward the fingers that we're going to play. If any of those two movements are missing, we can't play right. The first finger has to play inside, always. And the reason is because it's shorter. If you stay outside, you'll be too far out when you try to play the key that's coming. So you have to play inside movement in this one. Two fingers, this one's longer and that one's also longer. So those two fingers have to play out. And because this one's already getting a little bit smaller, you have to play in. It goes in on the same, out, out, in, 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 out, out, in, in. In, out, in, in, in. We need to add also a rotation. You could just move like this, rotate, and all the notes will come up evenly and effortless. So when we move the thumb, we rotate toward this finger, rotate toward the next one, rotate, and then we have the C. And when we go backwards, we rotate the same way, rotate, and rotate again. The rotation, what it does, it allows you to play very quickly, just like when you play trills. What it's doing is this. You can play very quick, and there's no effort on it. I rotate over the fingers. If you play F and go to C, you will rotate this way, right? Let's keep that in mind and add a G. So you still rotate over the... And an A. Add the B. You go towards it. I think the most problems people have is because they don't they do not rotate and just hammer their finger from here, and that requires a lot of energy because you are wasting energy on the air. It's just too high up, no rotation. You are not using the body right. When you go back and forth, sometimes it's true that it gets uneven. You have to go in and out. And you will see like a curve. You will see a curve like this, go kind of in and out, and also rotating at the same time. That's one of the tricks. So watch your fingers, be aware of the length of them, and also that there is a rotation involved. You have to get away from this kind of practice. You might be asking, well, how do we play the other three notes? Thumb plays in. We'll play in, then out, out. From C to E, we could play very quickly. If you could play this quickly, we could do the same movement. So we in, out, out, and then it will be in this one. And also rotate. What we do is use the rotation on the E. We do not put it under. Because if I'm like this, that will create tension on the hand by you flexing here. So I don't recommend putting under and what I do recommend is when you get to the E, you keep it relaxed because we're going to be relaxed at all time. Anytime you tense the hand any way, either this or this or this, the current flow of energy is interrupted so we don't want that. So what we want is rotate towards E and then F, we have a rotation this way and this rotation back brings you here and allows you to do that. So I show it again. So we have rotate towards it and then back. So when you play it, they all come evenly and quickly with without practicing. It's almost extreme speed. So 
Now, if you want to do it descending, it's the same principle. From C to F, you will have to rotate towards F and also go in. And then if you want to stand this, know that all we have here is the fourth finger. But for any switch, we want to rotate and go towards this one. And then we stand it there. So let's say we got same thing. If you descending, important things to keep the fingers that don't play relaxed. So that means if you play G, you will not tense up these two fingers. Or if you play here, you will not tense up this. Or any tension, I do not recommend. Uh, uh, when I do this, you don't see this finger doing this kind of thing. That means there's some tension somewhere. And what you need to keep the hand is all the fingers relax, put it on the, because well, we don't walk like this. When we walk, that's not a posture. If we are relaxing, if we are sleeping, we will not this, do this uh, with the hand. So that means it should be, ideally, it should be like this. Okay. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. And um, if you enjoyed the video, like it and subscribe. Thank you very much.